The Salesforce certification landscape is exciting. There are now over 40 Salesforce certifications across most of the products, features, and skill sets that the Salesforce ecosystem offers. No matter if you're just starting your Salesforce career or looking to level up through additional knowledge, Salesforce certifications are a globally recognized way to prove your knowledge of the Salesforce platform. Hi, I'm Ben McCarthy, founder of SalesforceBen.com, and our mission is to help you advance your Salesforce career. Subscribe to our YouTube channel below and check out our extensive resources on SalesforceBen.com. In this video, we will go into depth about each certification path and the different groups that make up the Salesforce certification landscape. Let's get into it. Salesforce certifications are a way to prove to employers that you have a certain level of knowledge about different products, features, and skills that contribute to you becoming a Salesforce expert. They are mostly made up of multiple choice exams that can be taken remotely or at a verified test center. They take you through a number of factual and scenario-based questions to put your knowledge of the Salesforce platform to the test. The vast majority of entry-level and experienced jobs will require the admin certification as a requirement and may require other certifications as a preference. The bottom line is that Salesforce certifications not only help you prove your knowledge about a certain aspect of the Salesforce platform, but prove you're a dedicated professional that puts in the effort to revise and pass exams. So without further ado, let's dive into the vast landscape of Salesforce certifications using our Salesforce Certification Pathways infographic available at salesforceben.com and in the description below. In general, there are a few certifications that Salesforce professionals will use to kickstart their careers in the ecosystem. First up, we have the Salesforce Admin Cert, generally considered to be the most popular to enter the ecosystem. The Salesforce Admin Cert will test professionals on the fundamental aspects of the core Salesforce platform. This includes core concepts around the sales and service cloud, customizing the Salesforce platform to meet unique business requirements, automation, and reporting capabilities. You can expect the vast majority of job vacancies to include the requirement for the Salesforce Admin Cert. Even entry-level jobs may require this certification. Whilst the Salesforce Admin Cert is entry level, it's still challenging and it requires a lot of revision and testing out functionality in a Salesforce developer environment. For some entry level professionals, this may be overwhelming. Salesforce has responded to this by releasing the Associate Certification. This has now become the most entry level certification and is fantastic for brand new entrants into the ecosystem who want to get a taste of what Salesforce has to offer. The Associate exam will test you on general Salesforce concepts such as ecosystem knowledge, navigation around Salesforce, the data model, as well as reporting and dashboards. This exam may also be perfect for a Salesforce power user who wants to learn more about how to use Salesforce and if a career is right for them. Next up, we'll start to get more technical. The Platform App Builder is a super useful cert for those that want to gain deeper knowledge on configuration possibilities of Salesforce. Whilst the Platform App Builder cert doesn't have any prerequisites, it's generally advised to take the admin cert first as this provides the foundational knowledge that you can build on. Salesforce has a huge amount of declarative functionality, which essentially means that you can configure the platform with clicks, not code allowing non-Salesforce developers to innovate using the platform. The Platform App Builder exam will test you on these concepts in detail, such as the automation available, how to create the correct data model using the right relationships, customizing the Salesforce user interface, as well as how to deploy these features using the correct sandboxes. A great certification for all Salesforce professionals to take. Next up, we have the Platform Developer 1 the most technical of the exams discussed so far. The Platform Developer 1 is specifically designed for developers, those professionals who can code with languages such as Apex, Sockle, and the Lightning Component Framework. These skills can be challenging to learn with no development background. Therefore, this exam is designed for those that have experience developing with Salesforce coding languages. Whilst the Platform Developer 1 exam has no prerequisites, it's recommended that developers take the Salesforce admin first, as this allows professionals to learn about the core platform with standard features available, which may be preferable to coding something custom. The next entry-level certification that sits alongside the Platform Developer 1 exam 
is the JavaScript Developer One exam. This is one of the first exams that Salesforce have released that is designed for software developers from non-Salesforce backgrounds to transition to developing on the Salesforce platform. Salesforce's latest user interface development language is coded using JavaScript and is designed to encourage development using an industry standard language. This certification will give these traditional developers insight into developing on the Salesforce platform and maybe the perfect transition to bridge careers. This is also the first Salesforce certification mentioned that includes taking a Salesforce Lightning Web Component Specialist Super Badge on Trailhead in addition to the multiple choice exam. Whilst this exam has no prerequisites, it's recommended that developers also look into the Salesforce admin exam to gain that core knowledge. Now that we've covered most of the common certifications that are taken to enter the Salesforce ecosystem, let's cover off specializations. Some of the most popular additional certifications that Salesforce professionals will look to take sit within the consultant category. Whilst these exams might be designed for people working in the Salesforce consulting industry, they'll be applicable for most Salesforce professionals who are working with a specific product and want to gain additional knowledge about the best way to implement it and maintain it. As you can see from the infographic, there is a certification for the majority of the most popular products on the Salesforce platform. This includes Sales, Service, Tableau, Experience Cloud, and Omni Studio, which is a specialist automation feature that sits within the Salesforce industry's product. Typically, these exams will dive deep into the features of these products, as well as the best way to implement them based on a certain scenario. This means that a lot of the questions in these exams will be scenario-based. This does mean that having implementation experience of these products products is a big bonus. But if you have deep knowledge of a certain product, then you should be able to pass these exams with some revision. There are a few certifications included within this area on the infographic that doesn't fall into the traditional consultant category, but are still considered specialist areas of Salesforce. First up, we have the Advanced Admin Cert, an exam that will build on the entry-level admin exam and requires that it's taken as a prerequisite. This exam includes deeper knowledge about the Salesforce security model, the relationship between opportunities, products, and price books within the sales cloud, and more advanced service cloud features such as knowledge, the console, and experience cloud sites. Next up, we have the CPQ Specialist Certification, an exam that is designed to test your ability to configure the Salesforce CPQ tool on the Sales Cloud platform. CPQ stands for Configure Price Quote and is a tool designed to help businesses create complex quotes on the Salesforce platform. The CPQ tool does not require any prerequisites to be taken, but the tool is very specialist and is unlike any other functionality on the platform. So it's best to have some experience with this tool before attempting the exam. The last specialist exam on our list is the Business Analyst Certification. Released in 2022, this has proven to become one of the most popular specialist certifications in recent memory and caters to the thousands of Salesforce professionals that exist as BAs already or want to move towards becoming a certified business analyst. As you might imagine, the BA exam goes deep into gathering user requirements, converting them into user stories, managing stakeholders and mapping out the requirements collected. The BA exam has the admin exam as a prerequisite and it's a fantastic option for all Salesforce professionals who wish to learn more about this specialist area in Salesforce. Next up, let's speak about architects, one of the most sought after career paths in the Salesforce ecosystem. Salesforce architects are the big dogs of the Salesforce ecosystem. They need to have extreme knowledge on every part of Salesforce in order to design scalable solutions for large scale enterprise implementations. There are a couple of roles that a lot of Salesforce professionals aspire to reach when looking at career progression. This involves the Salesforce solution architect and technical architect roles. So first up, let's take a look at the Salesforce solution architect pyramid. Solution architects are ultimately responsible for the solution to any business requirement. They should have an expert level of knowledge about the Salesforce platform, but generally won't go as deep as technical architects into the technical capabilities of the Salesforce platform. This pyramid has been designed by Salesforce and shows you the two routes that allow you to become a certified solution architect. This is divided into the paths, the certified B2C and B2B solution architect. Salesforce has divided these roles due to different skills and products being required to implement Salesforce for these two very distinct type of companies. Each path requires a number of certification prerequisites to be taken before you can attempt either exam. Each path involves some of the certifications we have already talked about, in addition to some of the architect level certs, such as sharing and visibility architect, 
data architect and integration architect. The architect level certifications are advised by Salesforce to be taken by professionals who have five or more years of experience. Whilst this is not a hard and fast rule, it does give you a clue into how deep some of these certifications go. To take the sharing and visibility architect exam, for example, professionals would have covered a lot of foundational security model concepts in exams such as platform app builder, admin, and advanced admin. But this architect level certification will go into details on concepts such as performance. For example, using the best sharing model for very large scale implementations where sharing may slow down performance or the sharing capabilities around Apex, Visual Force, or Lightning components to control sharing. So you can see this is definitely a level up in knowledge. The solution architect roles and architect level certifications are a fantastic goal for sales professionals to reach for. Next up, we have the technical architect pyramid. Technical architects usually go a lot deeper into the architecture of the solution and understand the implementation from a technical level. Whilst a solution architect sits at a higher level, but still with an understanding of the solution. Ultimately, the size of any implementation usually decides which level of architecture role you would need. Technical architects are also considered to be the most technical role within the Salesforce ecosystem, with many professionals striving to reach the certified technical architect role, which is one of the most sought after certifications, but also the most challenging, with only a few hundred CTAs in the entire world. Whilst the technical architect pyramid is very similar to the solution architect pyramid in terms of prerequisite certifications, the major difference is that on completion of the various specializations as outlined in the pyramid, the application and system architect certifications will be automatically granted on completion of the four prerequisites. The technical architect pyramid also outlines the path to reach the sought after CTA cert which requires you to complete both the application and system architect certifications. Once completed, in order to pass a certified technical architect certification, you must complete a panel interview with other CTAs. This involves putting together a solution based on a scenario and having the panel interrogate the solution via a Q&A. As mentioned, this is by far the most challenging certification in the Salesforce ecosystem. But once passed, you'll be in a club of very few across the world. And as a result, your skills and certifications will be highly sought after. For those who know how to code, there are various certifications that you can use to level up your career, as well as to explore additional Salesforce products. First up, the Platform Developer 2 exam is probably the most common advanced developer sales or certification, building in topics learned in Developer 1, which is a prerequisite. This certification builds on the previous by focusing on designing more advanced solutions using automation and data modeling to develop complex business logic and interfaces. Next up, we have the Marketing Cloud Developer which is the first time we've introduced this specialist Salesforce product that has its own configuration and coding capabilities separate from the core Salesforce platform. A marketing cloud developer is expected to know coding languages such as AMP script and SSJS languages to syntax and functions, as well as integrating marketing cloud with various APIs such as REST and SOAP. Another specialist Salesforce product that involves development is the Salesforce Industries product. This is a platform that has specifically designed apps for different industries, such as financial services and telecommunication. Two certifications which are involved with this platform are the Industries CPQ developer and the Omni Studio developer certifications. Finally, we have the B2C commerce developer certification. This exam teaches you further concepts about developing on the Salesforce Commerce Cloud, a product that allows businesses to sell their products via an e-commerce platform that integrates with other Salesforce products such as Marketing Cloud. Our penultimate section involves marketing certifications designed to upskill you and test your knowledge of the Salesforce Marketing Cloud and Pardot products, which is now called Account Engagement. First up, we have the Pardot certifications. Pardot or Account Engagement is a specialist marketing product mostly designed for B2B companies that want to target specific organizations with various marketing channels. Pardot is a common tool used alongside Sales Cloud due to it being partially built on the Salesforce platform and they're providing a seamless contact integration. The Pardot Specialist exam is one of the most entry-level marketing certifications on the Salesforce platform and involves testing your ability to configure and use the Pardot application. This will involve managing contacts in the form of visitors and prospects, setting up forms to collect customer data, 
as well as creating landing pages. Overall, this is a great certification for those that wish to administer the Pardot application. Next up, the Pardot Consultant Certification, which does require the Pardot Specialist exam to be passed as a prerequisite. The Consultant exam is designed for those that wish to implement Pardot into different companies. It will test your ability to understand different Pardot features and implement them based on different scenarios. Therefore, a good understanding of Pardot implementation is generally required to take this certification. The next type of marketing certification involves the Salesforce Marketing Cloud, which is a much more comprehensive platform generally designed for B2C companies. The Salesforce Marketing Cloud enables you to market to your customers using a broad range of channels, including social, SMS, email, and online advertising. A great place to start with marketing cloud certs is the admin exam. This is an entry level certification designed to test you on industry best practices, as well as the product itself, subscriber data management, and the ability to navigate account configurations. Next up, the marketing cloud email specialist is designed for those looking to build and send email marketing campaigns using marketing cloud. Skills such as marketing best practices, content creation, subscriber management, and data management will come in very handy during this exam. Finally, we have the Marketing Cloud Consultant Certification. On a similar theme to other consultant exams, this certification is designed around the implementation of Marketing Cloud. The Marketing Cloud is generally considered to be a pretty complex tool, with the integration needed in every product, best practice knowledge needed, and code often deployed in implementations, a very high level of knowledge is required for this certification. As a result, the Marketing Cloud Admin Exam is a prerequisite. This brings us to our final section and a relatively new certification pathway in the Salesforce ecosystem. Since the Lightning UI was released a number of years ago, the possibility to create a completely custom user experience on the Salesforce platform has grown exponentially. This means that while Salesforce professionals can completely change how the platform looks and feels, a focus should be placed on the user experience. These certifications address that. The user experience designer certification is a more entry-level qualification that provides professionals with an introduction into designing using the Salesforce platform. This gives you insights into human-centered design, features that enable you to improve the user experience, and the Salesforce Lightning design system. Moving on to the more senior designer certification, the Salesforce strategy designer is aimed at Salesforce professionals that have more than three years experience. As the name suggests, this exam focuses on the strategy of designing an application on Salesforce, taking in factors such as value design, the tools you have at your disposal and how to craft a design strategy for your business. These certifications can be a great addition to your CV and add another string to your bow. And that brings us to the end of our ultimate guide to every Salesforce certification. I hope this video has given you some insight into how you can level up your career through Salesforce certifications and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel below and visit salesforceben.com for more great Salesforce certification content.